Hey fellow pyros, the firework guy here. Uh, just picked up a little cheap 12Q system. I know there's been plenty of videos probably made over these 12Q systems, but I just want to kind of make a quick video. The nice part about it is, is that if you have a younger child and you're, they're not quite ready to be right next to the firework or you don't feel safe for them right there, you can run some fire wire to it and let them just use the remote from a safe distance. And you know, they, they feel good about being part of your show, helping dad out. and yet you feel pretty good because they're from a safe distance and not gonna you know blow a finger off by accident. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Um, this 12Q system I picked up from Amazon, as I mentioned, it comes in a nice little green case. All the units fit down nicely in there. Um, it does come with just a little thing of instructions and they're not very good, but it will tell you that you're gonna need 12 batteries, double A, four for each unit. You're gonna need a A20 or 23A battery, excuse me, for the transmitter on the back side here. Kind of gives you a little description how to go ahead and uh, reprogram if you want. Um, but other than that, there's not much to these uh, units. So they will come pre-programmed. I already got batteries in them. So number one corresponds with number one. And of course, number four would correspond with number four. And if we go to seven on this one, it's going to give you number seven, of course, and, and so forth and so on, 11 and 12. They come pre-programmed that way. But let's say we actually want, you know, number one on the, the number one unit and number five in the middle one and the number nine also to be number one on the transmitter. We can certainly do that with this unit, guys. Um, maybe you have, you know, something out in the field and they're spaced out far enough apart, but you're using the same type of shell and you want all three just to be hit at the same time on number one for your, for whatever reason. We can do that. So on, we'll say this one's already programmed to the number one on the on the remote. So all you'd have to do is just go ahead and take the paper clip. There's a little button. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. And you'll hold on, push it down. And you'll see this little light start flashing. So then on your remote, just hit number one and then let off. And number five should be number one. So now you got number five on there being number one and number one still being number one. So let's say we want number nine to also kind of correspond with that. You'll once again find the little hole. And you'll hold the little button in until that little LED starts flashing. And you'll hit number one again on your remote. And so now number nine should be number one. Number nine is number one. Number five is number one. And of course, number one is number one. So you can do some things with this remote and get a few things, you know, changed out on this 12Q layout. So it is a little diverse for you out in the field in case you have something in the show you want to set up to maybe have more things just ran off one button if it helps you in the field. But I also picked up, guys, I'll put this back a little bit here. Picked up a Pyroboom one 4Q system a while back. And I was just curious if I could get you know this transmitter to run off this little pyro boom 4q system comes with a little remote like that so you know um i was just curious if i could do that so anyways so we're gonna try it today um i already reprogrammed it several times i know it works but um obviously i'm pushing one and one's not even coming up right there but you'll need something a little thicker um on the back side because there's holes back here they're a little bit thicker maybe a little tube that's what i got here You'll find the number one, so it's on this one. And you'll find that hole and you'll press it in until it starts flashing right there. And then if you want number one on this remote to run number one there, you know, you'll do that. You let off the back side and you'll let off the remote. And now hopefully we did it right. Number one should be fired off number one there. So one fires one. So let's say we want number two to also be fired as number two so we'd find number two which is this one right here find the hole for it turn around so you guys can see it get it to flash and we also want number one to do that so i'd hit number one let off the back side then let off the remote and with any luck one and two will fire at the same time and there you go guys so not only am I firing with number one here, one and two off this, we'll do it again for you, but I'm also firing number one on this one. 
I'm firing number five on this one. And I'm also firing number nine on this one. So there you have it, just a little quick tour of how to reprogram some of that uh, these old 4Q systems. Once again, they're cheap and you know pretty inexpensive stuff to go ahead and use for your fireworks show. I use mine all the time. It works really good out in the field. Um, just want to let you guys know also I'll be uh, about another week from now doing another store tour for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, I got one other educational video of mine that I plan on doing, but I'll probably be after the Christmas holiday um, when I have some free time after Christmas. So stay tuned for all those videos coming up for you guys. Um, if I don't talk to you before Christmas, well, I guess I will be talking to you before Christmas with the store tour. So um, stay tuned for that. And hopefully everybody has a good, safe day. Talk to you later. Bye.